Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is CNBC's Trading Nation. Let's go to work in NVIDIA. Obviously, the strong story stock in the chip space here has done quite an interesting uh, technical pattern here, pulling back into what I see as a good zone to establish longs. So first, let's pull the chart apart here. And you'll see that the market has done something quite uh, constructive uh, in that it's just traced a island reversal. So what that means is we have a short term downtrend here. We head into earnings. OK, we gap down. We do a reversal and we head back up. Now, an island reversal consists of a gap against the trend and then a gap back in the direction of the trend, and that should allow the pattern to continue higher. So post island reversal, we've done a nice three wave pullback here. And what you'll see is we've gone into the 50% fib retracement zone. So as I do my fib retracement tool here, we've gone right through the 50, almost hit the 618 retracement. So altogether, a very nice island reversal, followed by a pullback into fib support, then we get another gap up today. So this stock is just all over the place. I like the upside here to go up and retest the old highs uh, up around $220. We probably exceed and extend beyond that, but let's take it one step at a time, get out of this kind of consolidation with, with this, this area that's filled with gaps, get out of there and begin to make new highs. So heading over to the option chain, I have a call debit spread queued up for us. So we're going to go out to the options that expired December 8th. These are the weeklies. We're going to go ahead and buy the $212.50 call strike, which is uh, just right around the current market. We're going to pair that up with a sale of the 220, which is our technical objective on the trade. This is a debit, a fixed cost of $310 per option spread you're trading. And our upside is, if the trade works out perfectly, is about $440. So we have a nice positive reward to risk ratio. As always, as the trades that we do here on Trading Nation, the way I set up my debit spreads, I usually put a 50% give back rule. So if the $3.10 of premium we're gonna outlay gets cut in half as the trade is not working, down to about $1.60 or so, cut the trade, cont uh, contain the risk, and simply move on else, we should be uh, okay to move up. So that's how you keep that risk reward in your favor. So let's go ahead, execute the trade. And that trade was is working and already filled. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade in video. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on Twitter for updates to this position as well as all the other trades our traders are watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.